Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you how to install your GMS files or your macros for Corel Draw. Um, I've been making a couple for a while now and there's been lots of different you know, versions of Corel out, X4, X5, X6, so forth. And sometimes the installation is slightly different for, for each one. Um, if you ever have to manually install a macro, or in, a, in my case, on mine, I just have a zip file with the files. You need to put them in the right spot. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So, for example, I'm going to show you uh, this one uh, for the photo engraver. If you ever purchase something, one of mine, you're going to see a folder, a zip file. When you, un when you double click it and you extract it, you're going to see some files. Here's the files right here. So there's always an installation text that kind of tells you how to get through it. It'll tell you, copy the GMS file into a folder and it gives you examples for like XP, 32-bit, Windows 7, it kind of tells you that it's in the program files Corel, Corel Draw, um, Draw GMS folder. Uh, on the newer systems, it, a lot of times it puts it into uh, your user account profile app data roaming uh, folder. So I'm going to kind of show you where those folders are located. And then this other part here says copy the Synergy 17 folder and the contents to the Corel app data directory. Because inside that I have some additional files that the macros require. So I'm going to shrink this and I'll kind of show you. So let's say this is my C drive here. For Corel X4, I, it's a 32-bit program. I have it installed. It's under Program Files x86. If you look through this, you'll see Corel Draw. Then you'll see Corel X4 and then I'll say draw and GMS and that's where you're going to copy the GMS file for that version on other versions I don't know if it's specifically a 64-bit or just something that they changed after like X6 but that's a different path so I'll go all the way back to the C drive and I'll go to users my name or whatever your user account is and then there's the app data folder and then there's roaming and then you look for the Corel draw folder then you find the version you want, let's do 2017 then there's the draw then there's the GMS folder so you have to kind of dig down this whole path to get there and that's where you're going to copy it same thing as I said here in the instructions it says example 64-bit Windows 8 or 10 it says users, your account, app data, roaming Corel, Corel Draw, Graphic Suite, whatever version, Draw, GMS. So you'd put the file, the GMS file, you just copy it in there. And then when you launch the application, you'll be able to see the GMS folder, or sorry, the file in there. Sometimes you don't see, let me go back here. Sometimes people will say, hey, I went to the user directory, and they went to their user account, and they don't see this app data. It's, if you notice, it's kind of lightened a little bit. It's because it's a hidden folder. So I'm going to go to the control panel and show you where, how to find it in case you can't see it. So I'm going to go here and right now I'll go back over this. I just want to show you this right here. If I say don't show hidden files and I apply you'll notice that, that sometimes that's what you see. Everything's gone. So what you want to do is you go to your control panel, folder options, and then folder options you'll see view and I, I click on Sometimes all these other things are checked as well. I uncheck hide protected. I, I uncheck hide extensions because I want to know what the extension file is. I uncheck all these. But the main thing is you want to say show hidden files, folders, and drives. So when you do that, you'll notice here when I hit apply, now you can see the app data directory. So that's how you that's how you find it in case you can't find it. It's under app data, roaming, and then Corel, and then pick your version, draw. GMS. That's what you put. I'm going to go back a little bit here because one of the other instructions I had was inside my uh, Synergy 17 folder I put some other stuff in there like I put for this particular macro I have this one for photo laser settings and there's some um, some sample files in there, halftone samples and just some other files. And that's where you're going to put your settings for this particular macro. And here's another laser settings text file. So if you notice in my instructions here it says um, copy the Synergy 17 folder and contents to the app data directory so and then here's the path again so same thing if I go back to if I go back to the other folder this one here you'll see when I got to roaming and went to curl I just dumped the folder right in here 
So it doesn't have this one doesn't have to go in any specific um, Corel uh, version. Just dump it right into the roaming Corel uh, folder. And um, just like my other one, see, you'll notice this one says S17 patterns. That's where I put all kinds of patterns for a different macro. So I just dump it there. That way, any one of these applications will look into this folder for the files that it needs. So anyways, that's how you uh, basically install a, a, a macro for Corel. You put it into the GMS folder of the correct uh, version based upon if it's an older version or newer version. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know.